Hi everyone, I'm Kent Louie, science teacher and talking head. Talking best practice in science education and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. This is episode 69. What happens when you ask ChatGPT to write a lesson plan for you? It actually does a pretty good job, much better than I expected. And if you haven't tried ChatGPT yet or you're thinking about doing it, I'm going to share what ChatGPT wrote for me and what I learned from the process. But before I continue, go download my handouts at realsciencechallenge.com slash EP69 so that you can follow along. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, to use ChatGPT, you want to go to openai.com and sign up for an account. When logging in, when logging in, excuse me, you want to choose ChatGPT as the app you want to use. When using ChatGPT, you want to write your question in the space below. When writing a question, I've read online that the prompt you use matters. Now, I don't use a specific prompt right now, but I do try to include as much detail as possible. So recently, I asked ChatGPT this question. Okay, so it says, pretend you're a teacher that will be giving a lesson on the three states of matter. Create a detailed lesson plan that utilizes the 5E instructional model. Provide detailed notes, stories, activities, and discussion questions to give students during each section. Also, write your lesson plan in order of the following sections. Engage, explore, explain, extend, and evaluate. Separate each section too. And here's the lesson plan it gave me. It is much more detailed than some lesson plans I've seen colleagues write, and even more detailed than some, than some sold on Teachers Pay Teachers. Now, I'm quite impressed with the details of this. Like, for example, they included a grade level and a time commitment and materials, none of which were included in my original request. And true to my request, ChatGPT included the 5E instructional model. So the engage section right here has like an introductory story and discussion questions for students, you know, for students. The uh, explore section and the extend sections right here have like two activities each per section for students to do. In the explain section and the uh, evaluate section later on, there are even like sections for lecture notes and worksheets that you, give, you can give students. Unfortunately, there are no lecture notes in here or worksheets provided, but there's, uh, there's homework and assessment su suggestions on the back as well. You know, I'm impressed with, with the details, with this. So, what are some advantages and disadvantages of lesson plans made by ChatGPT? Well, you know, a couple of advantages. Number one, it's quick to do. Number two, it includes some great specific details some great questions and activities you can try with your class. And as a seasoned teacher, otherwise known as an older teacher, I enjoy you know, seeing what other teachers do to teach a concept. And I can see how ChatGPT can be like a colleague I ask for suggestions every so often. The one major disadvantage, I, disadvantage excuse me, that I find is that there's no modifications present in this lesson plan for students in my class who may have learning disabilities or behavioral issues. Now, perhaps this is something I can include in my original question, but as specific as this is, a general request for a chat GPT lesson will not actually provide a lesson plan that's specific enough for my classroom and my student needs, because ultimately, I know my classroom, I know my students. Now, it's a good thing that these lessons made by chat GPT aren't turnkey ready in other words, I just can't use it as is. I still need to modify lessons to fit my students because that's where the value of a teacher lies. You know, teaching isn't just about writing lesson plans and collating resources and giving and marking tests and worksheets. If that's the case, then we're all going to be replaced by AI very soon. Teaching is really about reaching learners and knowing how, how to do it best. And for my practice, ChatGPT, will help me with suggestions that I can use or modify for my students. That's it for this episode. Please smash the like or subscribe button or leave a comment below. Handouts once again are at realsciencechallenge.com slash EP69. 
Thanks for watching. And let's talk science education again soon.